Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Joseph. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, a web application that I created. The name is Ayola University. It's actually a web application for possibly a university. And here is the code sample for that web application. And when it is run here, this is what we actually get. This is what we get, the Eula University interface. This is a web application. It has a lot of features, and those are the features we're going to be talking about. First of all, let's start with the home. The home has the, the picture of the university, what the university stands for, there, and what it has to offer. Let's say a student wanted to join immediately. They could actually join from here, input their name, there whatsoever. Let's say, for instance, my name is Nachi Joseph. Okay, as a new student, I select the day of enrollment and say first, I say 20, 2008. I create, it creates uh, my data. And here is the list of uh, students in the school we could actually get here from here using the student uh navigation link we could get here and here we could sort and also search for any student we wanted to search for for instance let's say we wanted to search for joseph that was recently added we could just click and here is joseph's data then with the information we have, we could now decide to edit Joseph's data with whatever we want to, we want to edit it with. We could decide to see the details of Joseph's data. Here is the details of Joseph's data. It has his name, his, uh, his information, and the course titles and the courses he took and his grades. We could go back to, to the student's uh, interface we could actually delete Alex Alexander if we wanted to delete him. That's it for the student's interface. Let's say we wanted to know the courses that the school, the, the university offers. Here is the list of the university that the, the list of the courses that the university offers. We could edit the courses, change them to whatever we wanted to do with them. We could customize the courses, check the details, edit them from here, go back. We could actually delete a particular course if we wanted to. For instance, we could delete the engineering course. It's gone. It's no longer there. We could still add another course and yeah, choose the department engineering and add the credits if we wanted to. For let's say course title, we could name it whatever we wanted to name it. Let's say Jiggy Jiggy G. Or we could just call it 20. So we create. It's been created. Here is uh, the course we just created. That being said, but let's look at the instructors, the, the list of instructors at the university who, who, who are teaching at the university. We could actually edit each instructor and assign them uh, courses to take, or even we assign them courses to take and then save. We could check their details. We could delete them. However, we could also select them to look at them. These are, when we select them, we check the courses they take. And once we say, once we select for each course, we check the students who are registered, who have registered for those, for that particular course. I mean, to say, let's say we selected this, we'd see only Justice Peggy registered for this particular course. And that's it for the instructor's interface. You could check for the departments available in this beautiful university. We have the economics department, we have the engineering department, we have the mathematics department in English. We could create a new department, attaching the budget, the name. Let's say, for instance, we created the biology department. We could say budget should be about 120000 then start date should be like um, maybe today, 
and administrator could be Fadi. Yeah, then we create. There is our biology, our, our department. We could as well delete it and it's deleted. And once you delete it, you go back, our biology department is no longer there. So this is the Yola University, what I call it, web application, but also a kind of register that has the data of almost everyone who is in the school, both the students and the instructors, and their different courses and departments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.